Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 74. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega series. Now let's get into the content. This video was not streamed live on Twitch, but instead was recorded directly for YouTube. However, if you do want to see us record these videos live for YouTube, then feel free to check the description down below for the link. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. Alright, so we are here now for the uh, Class 2, sorry, the Class R2 North American Tour. Um, we're going to be taking the Saline S7R. Absolutely hate this car with a passion, but don't really have a choice. Uh, Maple Valley, Sunset Peninsula, Road Atlanta. Uh, we've got two Sunset Peninsula races in this championship. That's uh, interesting. Uh, I thought they would have put something like Laguna Seca for this one. Uh, and then Road America. Let's get going. All right, here we go. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that um, ringtone on my phone, the vibration keeps completely throwing me off. Um, okay, so it is basically the saline is the powerful vehicle in this uh, class, sort of R2. Eee. A bump on the rear there. So we've obviously got the uh, white paint job, saline, and the yellow one. Uh, I think there's a red one as well. I'm not 100% sure. But... It does look like the saline would have been the only option. Not too bad. Um, it does seem to be a red and white saline behind us as well. So there's quite a few different liveries actually for uh, this car. Oh shit. This thing's extremely unstable. What the hell was that? This thing just pulled completely to the side there. Um, yeah, not a huge fan of that. Yeah, it just... Every time I'm going over one of these curbs, it just pulls. It's like it digs in and just grips more than it should do. Which is a weird thing to say about a saline. They're not very grippy cars. Hey, look, my weekly dose of uh, Linus Media Group clips of started to <laughs> started to be published honestly the WAN show is like one of the coolest things that Linus Tech Tips does but the only problem is it's like always like two and a half hours my attention span just cannot cope for two and a half hours of that um Whereas the clips one, I could quite easily go through half an hour of a dedicated story. Because I know exactly what I'm getting into when I click on the video. Okay. Starting... Ooh, I was about to say I'm starting to sort of get the hang of this, but no. Still not getting the hang of it. It's a very interesting... 
handling model for this car. I would like for you to move out of the way. Get out of my way. There we go. I've turned my microphone down a little bit as well because um, it keeps peaking. I'm sort of having to uh, kind of get used to uh, new acoustics in this room because obviously my setup is in a completely different location now. Very nice. I like that. I don't like that. It could just be this track though. So we'll see how the next race goes. Hopefully the next race is a little bit smoother. Uh, and a little less of a ball crushing torture device. Look. Just look at that. This is drifting. Interestingly enough, um, the Corvette, I want to get the interior, there you go. It's quite a nice interior on this car, actually. Proper race car, let's go. A little bit unstable there again. Yeah, it is good to see that um, quite a few of these American cars, like the American race cars, are actually fairly level on performance. Um, so we're actually getting a battle each time. Like, we have six other cars behind me right now. There are seven cars in the fight with one car tailing behind quite dramatically, to be fair. Um, ooh, I don't like that. Nope, don't like that. Not one bit. Let's see if we can get that position back. Hopefully we can. Not bad. Crap. Ah, oh, completely binned it right at the end. Let's uh, rewind it and get back on track. Literally <laughs> back on track. No, 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 no. You can stay back. You can give me some space. Thank you very much. Right. Very nice. We got that uh, result there. Good result. Uh, yeah, good to continue by the looks of it. 12 grand, I'll take it. Bada bing, bada bing. Uh, so we now have a 20% discount on intake manifold and throttle body upgrades. Nice. All right, here we go. Race number two, first one on Sunset Peninsula as well. Uh, I'm just keeping an eye on my PC temps because I'm 
testing out a new fan curve, which should hopefully keep the PC a tiny bit quieter. The only problem with it is, is um, the fans are completely off. So <laughs> that's probably why it's quieter. But it means that when I'm doing like more intense tasks, because surprisingly my radiator can keep can't keep me on the track, but uh, it can keep my CPU at a relatively cool temperature just without the fans. But when you start getting like intense loads, such as like um, encoding, rendering, um, gaming. That kind of stuff. It can bring the temperature up. So. Uh, I'm just keeping an eye on it. And if needs be. I can put it back to how it was. Where the fan's always on. But hopefully. If I have it where the fan isn't on. All the time. Uh, and it only comes on when the temperature goes over a certain temperature. Um, it could actually mean less. Uh, what's it called? Less dust build up inside my PC. Oh, that got warm. Fuck me. Not bad looking good. I do find it really surprising how these uh, American cars are actually quite capable of taking corners like this. I think it is kind of surprising. Watch out of my way. Okay, yeah, I don't think this fan fan idea is working. <laughs> Not bad. Looking good. Looking good. Here we go. Keep it moving. Keep it flowing. Just get a tiny bit closer to the microphone there. Yeah, I'm going to um, have to tweak my fan curves a little bit still.
you don't want to see the play, get your ass out of the way. Not bad. This is looking pretty good, actually. Uh, a little bit unstable. We are at 72 hours playtime, by the way, for this game. So, we're getting uh, close to the halfway mark, or what I predicted to be the halfway mark, which is about 80 hours. Um... Actually, we are roughly, like, doing an hour of playtime per episode that we've gone through. Um, that's kind of the plan as well with this. Is approximately an hour per episode, so. Uh, I know for a fact... I just peeped the microphone there. I know for a fact that when it comes to... What is it? The next segment... Jesus. Uh, the next segment has 30 events in it. As opposed to the 40 that's been in this segment. However, those events are six races each. Which, I mean, would have been fine if they were approximately the same length as these. i just end up with about an hour of footage, which would mean about an hour and 20 minutes per video. That'd be fine to do one episode, that would be like my limit. One episode per event. But the races seem to be like um the majority of these events are approximately about 12 miles in length. Um, those ones are all above 20 miles pretty much. Um, they're quite long races. So uh, in terms of total time, each race could take about 15 minutes. So the goal for that one is probably two episodes per event. Um, I know it sounds a little boring, a little tedious, but kind of don't really have any other plan for that, to be perfectly honest. All right, here we go. We got the damn saline. Oh, this is damn saline. I really hate this guy. But it's done a good job of that first corner, I'll be honest. It's done a terrible job of that corner. So this just feels like ice here. All right, back to the beginning then, woohoo. Isn't that Corvette the um, car that actually got put on the cover of... What's it called? Ah, shit. Too close. Little bit of contact on the arse.
Ah, oh, I binned it. Could not have done that worse if I tried. I'll be totally honest. Um, yeah, we, can we continue? Thank you. It's as soon as you go on the brakes, this car just becomes completely unstable. Not bad. Very good, very nice. Very good, very nice. Not bad. Right, we've just come up to the halfway mark. Going over those curbs there is a little bit sketchy, but we're making it. No, we're not. <laughs> Answers that one. Back somewhat under control.
Not bad. Jesus Christ. Hundred and eighty miles an hour on this straight. That's impressive. There we go. Not bad. I will take that. Thank you very much. Alright, here we go. Second uh, Sunset Peninsula race. I got my fan curve sorted out, so. Very nice. Very good, very nice. Very good, very nice. Hello, sexy banana. That is literally my car right now. It is the unsexy banana. It's bright yellow and it's the ugliest card known to man. <laughs> Crap. 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 Oh, I've been rammed in the ass. That's going to be taken out of context. Not bad. Keep it moving. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. This car's extremely unstable. We've got one hell of a push to do now. Come on, come on. Look, even the Corvettes can barely stay on track. Oh, look at that. What a collision between the Corvettes. This Corvette's going slower than it should be. God, no wonder you're sponsored by Motorola. They were always really crap. Does Motorola even exist nowadays? Bad. Oh, too close. Too close for comfort. Did not like that.
Ah! Oh, I don't like it. I really don't like it. That was ass clenching. That car is faster than us. There's only one explanation for that, though. Uh. Clearly, bodywork damage counts for actual physical aero damage and slows the car down. Did not know that. That's a uh, pretty interesting piece of information. Nice. Oh, bit of contact there with the wall. Nice. Not nice. But managed to get away with it. Bloody hell, okay. Fair enough. I'll take it. I will take the result. It's like a good result. Love ledge of Blair. Alright, here we go. The sailing. Back at it again. Guess who's back? Back again. Shady's back. Tell a friend. Not bad. This car's doing uh, all right so far. Doo -doo.
I really do need to think about uh, putting my phone on Do Not Disturb while I'm recording stuff. Not because I don't want the notifications or anything, but literally because my phone is just really loud when it goes off. Like, the actual alarm is on silent completely. But the phone is not. So... This track is definitely a good track for endurance races because there's, um, it's got a similar amount of corners that a normal sort of European track would have, but it's just got a lot of long straights between them. Um, so this is definitely like a really good um, endurance track. I know out of all of the endurance races I did for Motorsport 1, um, the Road America one, I believe it was the second to last endurance event, but the Road America one was the best. And I believe the Road Am they had a Road America one for Motorsport 2 as well. That one was quite enjoyable. So for the next segment of races we're going to be looking at approximately 60 episodes um, it is quite a hefty number but there isn't really much I can do about that and it's only gonna get worse So yeah, we're probably going to be at like episode 140 before we start doing uh, the endurance events. Yeah, I've got mine. It is crazy to think that we've been playing this game for a lot longer than uh, Forza Motorsport 2. Crazy to think about that. Coming up to 73 hours as well.
nice. Very good, very nice. Very good, very nice. Hello, sexy banana. It's quite strange how um, big the difference between um, the speed of all the cars has been. Shit. We were actually doing pretty okay until that point. And there you go. Across the line. So we now have a 10% discount on pistons and compression upgrades. Whoop, whoop. That's the sound of the beast. Whoop, whoop. That's the sound of the police. Yeah. We got a nice chunk of credits. A lot of these um, later races, we're actually going to be able to, like, just use cars that we've unlocked because... We've unlocked quite a few race cars. Um, the only one we obviously had to buy a race car for was this one. And that was a nightmare in itself. Uh, but next up will be the 700 horsepower challenge. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like. Comment down below and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.